Here we have a Edison Model A gem from 1902. This is kind of a nice machine because it has its original key and its original conical horn. Not a reproduction. These conical horns are very difficult to get. And there you have an original. And you, how you can tell an original is that the seam on the horn goes all the way to the end. The end, uh, right in through here, I don't think you could see it very good, is gold painted. And then usually the edge, not the band there, the edge is gold plated. Now one of the options you could have gotten was the bigger horn. That was typical for other Edison machines. This was standard, this was an upgrade. And how you can tell these horns are original is you see the gold bead there, it goes towards the bell. In other words, the brass bell connects to the cone. On reproductions, the cone connects to the brass bell, meaning the bead is steel or painted black. Plus, you could see a little bit there, patent applied for. And then the, um, I'll just take this down. The seam goes to the end. Now on this horn here, if I can focus, if I can find it, seem not to be able to focus on it. There's a hole. See that hole? Well that hole allowed me to buy this horn at a good price because nobody else wanted it. That's because this horn here and that horn here during the depression people would go up to the attic to repurpose items because they couldn't afford anything and they use them as funnels for oil in your vehicles. So that hole right there is to hang on a wire hook in the garage upside down so that the oil would drain into a cup or a receptacle once you were done. Out of mind, out of sight means that a lot of these horns survive. What I mean by that is they put them in the attic and they're out of mind and a hundred years later somebody discovers them and they have an antique. But in the 1930s once they were put in mind again and reused once the depression was over, what did they do with them? Throw them away. That survived. So here we have on the original. You could always tell an original key. You see the paddle? It's outside the wooden base. So that when you turn the key, your knuckle or fingers don't hit that wooden base. And of course these came off, as you could see. They just came right off and got lost, so later models had a crank that you couldn't take off. A Model B reproducer, which played both brown wax and the newer, at this time, black wax cylinders. So really a nice machine. There is your speed control and on and off. And so I'll just play a little bit of it if I can. These horns don't sound very good. In fact, these machines were designed to compete with Columbia's Open Works machines. And they are the low end machine.
So I'll shut it off. And as you can see, it doesn't sound all that great. Here's the case with the banner decal. You could take it on picnics with you, put it in the horse and buggy, and off you went. Of course, you have to take the crank out, and you have to take the horn off, and that's where they got damaged and lost. And here is the original Edison uh, box, cylinder box. As you can see, there's batten, cotton batten inside to wick away moisture from the black wax cylinders or, and brown wax cylinders because mold would develop if they got wet. So that is my Edison Gem Model A. Thanks for watching.